for today's children's story, uh, it's about listening. Have you ever heard a recording of your voice? Sometimes when people hear this voice uh, or an answering machine or a home movie, well, they think that it doesn't sound like them. Even though everyone tells them that's exactly what they sound like. When you speak, your vocal cords vibrate, making sound waves. When others hear your voice, they only hear the sound sound waves traveling in the air. But you hear those air tr- sound waves too, but you hear the, also the sound waves that are traveling through the bones in your bones in your head. Because you hear your voice through two pathways instead of just one, your voice sounds slightly different to you than to everyone else. There's another pathway of hearing, and have you ever heard of your conscience? Maybe you have been tempted to do something and a little voice inside your head tells you that it will be the wrong thing to do. Or maybe you've seen someone who looks lonely and you get the feeling that you should go and talk talk to them. This doesn't have anything to do with sound waves, but how do we get these feelings? Well, Jesus sends these feelings and before Jesus died, he told his disciples that he was going away. But he promised to send a helper so that we would know how to live the Holy Spirit. Jesus promises that spirit will lead you into all truth in John 16, 13. The spirit will help you to do the right thing. The spirit will be your conscience. And it takes practice to hear the voice of your conscience from the spirit. So we have to listen carefully because that voice can be very quiet. In Isaiah uh, chapter 30, 21, it says, you will hear a voice behind you and it will say, this is the right way and you should go this way. Well, to close this chosen story, um, I would like to pray. Uh, Dear Heavenly Father, um, thank you for this day that you have given us and uh, help us to listen to your words, your conscience, and uh, please uh, bless us today and in Jesus' name we pray.